Hello guys and girls and welcome to the next series of Civilization 6 Rise and Fall with me Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. Who are we going to be playing this time? Well, we are going to be playing Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Uh, she got 69% of the votes in the Twitter poll that I did a couple of days ago as we had uh, wound up. Or we're all, uh, uh, you probably haven't seen it yet when I'm recording this, but I finished, obviously, the Genghis Khan uh, playthrough, which worked out rather well, all things considered. So, as before, we can only have 150 turns in the game. Uh, I've discovered you can actually start the era of the game a bit later. So we don't just play from 0 to 150. We can start, as we're going to here, in the medieval era. And then have 150 turns. We're going to play on quick, so we can move through things a bit quicker. Uh, we're going to shuffle the map, have it small. We're going up to king level. I have been playing on prince. Uh, just to make things a little bit easier and we can sort of see the game a bit more but I think some of you want more of a challenge so we'll go for King um, Vilhelmina so what does she offer to us here well we've got the trade route bonus your trade routes to your own cities provide plus one loyalty per turn for the starting city so if you've got some cities on a border with another civilization start trade routes there send them out you're going to be getting plus one loyalty uh, trade routes to foreign cities get plus one culture so excellent boost i like that that is the radio orange it looks like you would say in france i suppose orange radio i'm not quite sure what that is in dutch but there we go and then we have the Grote riviera a major adjacency bonus for campuses theater squares and industrial zones if next to a river culture bomb adjacent tiles and completing a harbor excellent we have the unique build the polder uh, we have a builder ability to make the polder plus one food plus one production uh, we get from a polder that's it and then plus one food if adjacent to a polder improvement so put them next to each other you get extra food and then you get additional production gold and food as you advance through the civics and technology tree so that will just grow as time goes on it must be placed on a coast or a lake tile and adjacent to three or more flat land tiles i don't know how difficult that's going to be but we shall see as we go uh increases movement cost of tile two three okay so harder to move through and then we have the unique unit, the Dezeven Provincien. Apologies my pronunciation. The Netherlands unique Renaissance era unit, obviously a boat, plus seven combat strength when attacking defensible districts. So we're going to start in the medieval era. Obviously the Renaissance era is the next one on the list. So hopefully we'll get to build some of those unique units, but definitely we'll check out the polders and the trade routes. And see how things go. Uh, for the other players, I'm going to leave them on random. We've got a small map. I'm going to shuffle, see what we get. And uh, I've taken off the score victory. It doesn't make any difference. It's only 150 turns. So let's see how we go. You have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles alongside your gallant knights. That is where the story of your people will be written. Just as the young apprentice learns to carry a sword, so shall you grow to understand your place in this world. Queen Wilhelmina, you will defend the Netherlands to the last. Turn coastland to farmland with Dutch ingenuity. Your citizens will farm with great efficiency, knowing that they are under the protection of your mighty warships. Above all, trade with everyone you meet a good deal can turn a foe into a friend and if not the money will fund your opposition and there we go so let us dive in and see what we've got so we're going to be given um some inspirations we're going to be given some researches and civics and things because we've started a bit later in the game so we want to have a look at those we've seen all of these before if not, go back and check episode one of my Cree playthrough. And here we are. Let's see what we have on the technology tree. Yep. So we've already got a lot of stuff. We're up to here. Um, okay, just having a quick look. Where There we go. So square rigging is what we want to keep an eye on once we get up to there. Good, good, good. And then civics. 
Yeah, we've got quite a way through the civics as well. We've got a few boosts. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Well, let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got two settlers, which is interesting. Uh, we have a scout and an archer for protecting a home. Roads have been upgraded. Trade route capacity we've got already, which is good. Tech boost and civic boost. And we can choose a pantheon. Okay, is there any religions <laughs> anywhere? Uh, great people, governors, what am I looking for? Religions? No. So everybody's starting off the same. Okay, let's us have a look. So, campuses are going to be boosted if next to a river. So, campuses around here would be fantastic. I'm going to move you to there to have a look around. And I'm going to move you to there and there. Okay. So we want to spread these guys out a bit. I mean, here could be good. We're going to get bananas. We'll get lots of forest. We'll get rice. We'll get copper. Uh, one, two, three. We wouldn't get that one. I mean, even just one, even to stay where we are, we would get. I mean, this would be, <laughs> this would be a fantastic city. We'd have the river bonuses. I wonder whether to move to uh, to, to settle this city here instead. One, two, three. We'd miss out on the pearls. One, two, three. We'd get everything else. Yep, 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 yep. But that one would get absolutely everything. But then we might be able to send this one around here. I'm just thinking that would leave all of our river tiles free for campuses and things. Uh, it wouldn't be right by the sea, though. I think this one. We'll go for this one. Yeah, because we'll get this one to... Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll do that. Um, and we get a spearman. Oh, my goodness. And we've got a builder. Good grief. Well, that's like suddenly giving us a whole load of stuff. Um, are we able to build mines and things already? I guess we are because we've already got through all of that. So let's just take a look at what our city is able to do. What have we got? Plus 8.4. Plus 12 food. Yeah, we're fine on food. Um... Okay, that's fine. Well, let's get this guy over here, and he can build a mine for us. So this guy is going to move off. Uh, as to where, I'm not entirely sure. I'm thinking over here. I suppose it depends what we see, doesn't it, as we send these guys out. Let's move you along. Okay. Um, I'm going to move you this way as well. Yeah. We'll see what we've got. Pantheon-wise, what have we got a lot of? We've got a lot of forests. A lot of hills and plains. Let's take a look. Um, I don't think I'm particularly going to be worried about trying to head for a religion. So, broad expansion, higher rates, growth city. I like this one. Grows the city quicker. This will be good. I mean, I'm saying I'm not going for religion. I'm looking at all the faith ones. But uh, ancient and classical military units. We're sort of past that. Plus one production mines over strategic resources could be good. Because we've got a lot of mines that we're going to build. I mean, if we look here, we're going to have one, two, three at least. This is one over here. We've got four. That could be a very good one. Uh, Amenity cities, holy districts. Fishing boats could be good. I think we'll go for the one with the mines over strategic resources. Yeah, we've we'll found that pantheon. Has accomplished something Thank you. So we've got our plus two era score. And we're working towards a religion. Well, we shall see how that goes. Um, let's have a look up here. Yeah, lots of turns to go. Right, production. Uh, we've still got to build up our city. So it hasn't sort of automatically given us anything in the city. Okay, that's fine. Let's go for granary. We have a trade route, but we can't do anything with it yet. Um, so build an aqueduct will boost that. So it's still quite a lot. Because we're a lot further in the tech tree, these are obviously going to take a lot longer to do. And because we've got one city, of course, but these are very expensive. So, I mean, it'd be nice if we sort of get up to here. Build two harbours. We could do a bit of that and a bit of that and then... Jump around, get some of these. I mean, build three mines. We'll do that and probably just finish that off. Kill a unit with a spearman. We'll probably do that and finish that off. 
I think as well the boost have been lessened to 40% instead of 50% on the last live stream they said that whether that's in this build or not I don't know so I guess we shall see um, and then we're going to build some archers so yeah let's do that and see if we can just grab those ones anyway um, civil uh, civil service civics tree Build six farms, can lead it with a cross ream, grow a city to ten population. Let's put some turns into that one. And then we'll sort of work our way up and see where we can go. Governors. Right, we're gonna end up with We're gonna end up with a few governors here. So I'm sort of thinking ahead. We are look, we've got four. We could have four governors right now. With one upgrade in each. This guy we're not gonna go for. I'm thinking perhaps. I mean, we're going to find some city-states very quickly, and we could move Amani into them. Um, I don't know whether we have to appoint our governors straight away. Um, I don't want to do that one. Liang, all builders train, get one plus build charge. That could be good. Fishery unique improvement be built in the city on coastal plots. Liang's looking like a possibility. Science and culture from Pingala is always good. And Reina, acquire new tiles in city faster. I'm thinking Liang. Uh, a point. Thank you very much. She'll go to Amsterdam. A sign. Our governor is now. Thank you. So she's grabbed some tiles already, which is good. Have we? Oh no, I think they're already grabbed, aren't they? She's not actually there yet. Uh, we can't do another one because we've got nowhere to send. So I'm not going to be able to skip over that. I hope so. <laughs> let's choose a repub. Uh, let's choose a government. I'm thinking classical republic. We're in peace times. Um. Yeah. Let's government. Can I just look at my cards? No, I can't. All cities with the district see plus one housing and amenity. Or land mania and what does that say? Plus four combat strength. Plus one to all yields for each government building. And so that we're not sort of going to get. I mean, this could be good actually for starting off with. Let's go with this one. Plus three era score. And then we've got to choose our cards. Because we are exploring quite a lot, aren't we? So let's go with... Fighting barbarians, because we're going to find those. Uh, yields gained from pillaging. Yeah, we don't need any of those. Plus two gold from all trade routes. We're not going to be building settlers. No wonders at the moment. Uh, builders we will, but we've got one builder. Only going to be building one more at the moment. Purchasing tiles, campus. I mean, a lot of these are going to stack really well once we sort of get there i'm gonna go for this one for now the plus two gold from trade routes will be good because we will be doing a lot of trade routes uh plus two influence points per turn towards earnings earning city state envoys first envoy counts as two governor's pride plus two loyalty scientist writer profit general let's go for plus two great scientist points and then Let's do that one. Yep. Yeah. I'm sort of planning ahead, hoping that we're going to meet. Hoping that we're going to meet some city-states. So, uh, I'm right-clicking on this. And it's not letting me skip it. I have to... So, is it going to make me... If I do one more... I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the game because I would like to appoint another one. But as I've got no way to send them, is it going to cause a problem? I'm not sure. And as is the preview version, I'm going to save... Just to sort of cover myself in case it does cause a problem. One sec. Okay, so let's go for Amani. Um, we're going to appoint Amani. Um, it looks like we can also send her to Amsterdam. Yeah. And it says I've got to assign her governor appointments. <laughs> Yeah, this is a problem, isn't it? Because I can't assign to more than one place. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit of an issue, isn't it? So basically, even though we've started later on, I'm right-clicking, I can't get rid of it. 
So unless I actually have this guy here making a city like on the first turn, I'm basically sort of stuffed. So I'm going to have to use all my upgrades on one governor. Because then if I assign you to Amsterdam, yep, it will kick you out. And now I've got to assign you. And there's no way out of it. Right. Okay. Let me reload my save. Now we've tested that. <laughs> Be right back. And we're back in the room. And according to uh, Sean Bean, it's Wilhelmina. So there we go. That's what we're going to call her. So we're going to have to promote um, Liang, the surveyor. Plus 30% production towards city centre and government plazas. The fishery unique improvement can be built in the city on coastal plots. Yes. Uh, we're going to go for that one. Yep. Confirm that. Plus 30% production towards entertainment complex on water park. We're going to go for that. Parks and recreation. I mean, we've got, to, we've got to spend them all, otherwise we can't move on. So, there we go. Good. And you're going to go to the city. Excellent. Unit needs orders. Who's that? Our trade route guy. He can't go anywhere. Next turn. There we go. Got through it in the end. Right. So, where are you going to go? Uh, I'm going to send you out here and out here. Right. It's a coast area here as well. Let's just send you up to there. Ooh. This is looking good over here. Uh, one, two, three. That'd be far too close. I think we're going to head up this way. I mean, we could just literally build right on the coast, like here. I mean, we're going to overlap a bit, but I don't mind that. I don't mind having cities closer together. I know some people are like, oh, you can't have your cities too close together and get all upset about it. Yeah, you build that there. Uh, Archer. Yeah, let's send you out to have a little bit of a nose. Next turn. But never mind, it works out okay. Hopefully, anyway. Hmm. So, I reckon... One, two, three. That one's going to go one, two, three. So, it's going to overlap quite a bit. One, two, three. We're going to get all of that. So, we've got all this nice, fresh water. Let's just have a quick nose up here. Hmm. Yeah, actually, up here is looking good. Whoops. Okay, well, I guess we're going that way. <laughs> Let's have a look down here. Okay, trade route. Yeah, still can't do anything. Unit needs orders. Let's move you out. Builder. Let's grab. So he's got all these things he can build. Um, let's grab another mine. Harvest resource. Oh. Remove stone from the plot. How have I not seen that before? That must come a bit later in the game and we haven't seen it yet in this one. Uh, I want to get this second city down. City-state meeting bonus. There we go. We've met Zanzibar. Uh, let's send you to there and then to there. And Toronto. Excellent. Uh, okay. Send envoy. Mm, we're going to get production from Toronto. And Zanzibar will be giving us gold. Uh, we have three envoys. So if we send one to each. And then another one to Toronto. We'll get the boost of gold. Several closely situated oh. granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth. Dramatically soar about a kilometre into the sky. It doubles the terrain yield of all adjacent tiles. And we get an era score for that. Uh, so where was that? Wow, look at that. Huh. Well, that might be where our third city goes, but for now... Right, okay, so where shall we go? I wanted to go internally for the bonus of extra loyalty, but... For now... Let's start building up our gold. We'll go with Zanzibar. Um, you've built there. How many builds have you got? We've got one left. Let's get a pasture. Or should we get the copper? Yeah, let's get the pasture for growth. You're going to head out. We found that. You're going to head out that way. Who's this? Aha! Indeed, let's have peace. It's an honour to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. Uh, let us also send to him a delegation. Excellent. Thank you very much. 
Uh, so we know about that, that, and that. Our score is 11 out of 15, our era score, to get a normal age. So that's good. We're definitely going to be doing that. New continent discovered. Two new city-states. Two new city-state quests. Oh, one of them had a quest to send a trade route. That probably would have been... Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Who was it that had that quest? Oh, okay, it was Toronto. Well, never mind. Let's see what happens next. Um, okay, production. So, let's go for... What shall we go for? Well, we're going to get boosts. Any campus theatre industrial zones get a boost next to rivers. So, we're going to have these two river tiles... And we would have had that one if we didn't put our city right there, of course. Hmm, I want to get a campus going down. So that'll be plus two from adjacent. Oh, okay, look, we're going to get... Ah, oh, all of these. Good. Oh, okay, that's better. So that could be good. I want to get our science going. Um, but we could also have... Hmm, not an encampment. Harbour goes out. Yes, of course. Commercial will get plus two. So it may be that we go for a commercial there. We get adjacency bonuses as well. Uh, it's the theatre, the other one that gets the bonus. So it may end up that we remove... Maybe one of these. Probably these. We'll see how that goes. Uh, aqueduct. We're going to need a square for that. Oh, darn it. There's only two places that will go. And Government Plaza can go quite a few places. Okay, well, let's get our campus in. Uh, I think we're going to go here and buy that. Yeah, we'll build a campus. Thank you very much. Um, how are you doing? We're still wandering around with you, wondering where to build our first city. Well, what have we got here? We've got wheat, we've got olives, we've got two stone, we've got incense. One, two... One, two, three, we'll get that. One, two, three, we'll get that. But so will you. Oh, there's a barbarian camp over there. Let's keep an eye on that. Right there. Yeah, make a suggestion. Yeah, I think that looks good to me. Um, we want to make sure our units start coming back over this way. Um, and we probably want to get ourselves a unit. What have we got? 159. Uh, let's just buy a warrior. And you are going to build... We've got a builder, which is good. You're going to build an archer. Because that's going to cause us problems. And we're going to get this. What are we getting in here growth-wise? Plus six, plus five. Yeah, let's, let's get that one going there. And I think I'm just going to send you around this way, just so you're a little bit nearer. Let's get the pasture. That's it. Well done, my builder. Excellent. Um, you've sort of ended up being an explorer, but I'd rather have you back over here for some protection. So, can I do any trade with you? Let's have a look. Horses? Uh, no, never mind. Okay. Let's not worry about that. Next turn. And there we go. They found us already. <laughs> Excellent. Well, good for you. Let's get our scouts over here. And if we can stop him. Somehow, I don't think we're going to be able to catch him up. Major victory. Okay, that's good. Let's bring you back. Yep, need more housing. Governor, governor in Amsterdam. Excellent. So we're, stark. we're going to start getting more of everything. So, plus one build, charge for next builder. We can build fishery units along the coast. Production towards those things. And city park improvements can be built in the city. Okay, good. Yeah, we know about the barbarians. Bits of tea. Oh, okay, what do you want to do? One goal for 30 turns, open borders. Yeah. No. Thank you very much. And he's back. He's already told them we're here. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, yeah, you're going to build that for me. Let's have a look at the Hague. Yes, we've got that. Excellent. So we'll get an archer in five turns. Good. 
Our builder is going to move out and block whoever's going to come from here. A spearman. Uh, you're going to move up as well. And so are you. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I mean, what could normally happen is that, yeah, he's going to farm my other city. They, you sort of get caught out. And then they spawn a few more and it sort of ends up being all sorts of pain in the neck. Um, I'd like to get something on these before we start building things on here. Let's just move one. Just wondering when the polder thing is going to kick in. I know it needs to be surrounded by three... What was it now? Let's have a look. Polder. Oh, it doesn't tell us here. Okay, let's go here. Polder. There we go. Uh, must be placed on a coast or lake tile adjacent to three or more flat tiles. Oh, okay, right. Yes, of course. So we may be able to do it here. That's three flat tiles. Probably be able to do one there if we clear that. One, two, three. And next to another polder. So across the river there. Uh, these ones here. There we'll be able to put one. Yeah, we'll get a couple. We'll get a couple done. But let's see how this is going first. Uh, we'll need to go there. Um, let's just see. Minor victory. Yeah, let's move you up one. Let's move you up one and you can do that. Good. Uh, you are going to fortify there and be fine. Good. Next turn. Uh, major victory. There we go. Good. You're gone. Right. Um... Yeah, let's go there and build a farm on there. We'll get the housing bonus as well. Let's see. There we go. Good. Uh, major victory. That should be it. No, oh, teeny little bit left. Okay. Amsterdam is looking nice, I have to say. Right. Where are you going to go next? I'm going to... Oh, upgrade promotion. Woods and rainforest. Yeah, we'll go for that. Excellent. Okay, good. We can add a library to our campus. Uh, we can add a government... Yeah, let's get a library in first. I think this guy is going to end up... Finish him off. And then you... Can jump in. And we're done. Three era score. We've now got 14 out of 15. That's fantastic. You've got one build left. Let's grab... That wheat. <coughs> Right, you are going to go up into there and protect that city. You eventually are going to come back to there. And I might just send you... Oh, there's a little villagey thing there. We'll grab that. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Next turn. Hello. Ah, oh, there you're welcome. No problem at all. Suzerain status lost in Toronto. Okay. Really? I see. Poundmaker is concentrating on Toronto. Excellent. Bit of a boost. Bit of another boost. That's what we like to see. Scout. Let's send you over here. Civic boost, civic boost. Oh, have we jumped through anything here? No, we're still going through this one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's taken a while, isn't it? Okay, let's carry on. Uh, yeah, you're in the Hague. So we're going to have our spearmen in the Hague to protect that city there. Oh, thank you very much. Buffalo Robes and Pimican. Pimican, Pimican. Thank you kindly. He's happy with me. I want to try and get an alliance in this playthrough as well. Jerusalem. There we go. We found someone else. We've earned an envoy there. Train a horseman, they want us to do. And you've made an archer. Excellent. So, looking at our military score, it's quite low, really. 72. Oh, we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad at all. Yeah, we're going to in there. Uh, our archer is going to get a promotion. Range strength versus land units. I like that one. Um, he 
you're just going to go and, and hang around in the woods there. Okay, you've got nowhere to go. Let's send you back over here to heal up. Actually, we might just send you... Send you down there. Excellent. Right, we've got that in. Um, ancient walls. I'm not going to chuck that in straight away. Let's put in a... What are we going to get there? City centre district adjacency bonus. I want to try and get as many of these bonuses as we can. Great library. Receive boost to all ancient and classical era technologies. Well, we're sort of past that. Um, classical era. I say we're past it. We're in it, aren't we, at the moment? Um, so maybe, maybe. Receive a random tech boost after another player recruits a great scientist. Must be built on flat land adjacent to a campus district with a library. Which will be there, but then there we want... <laughs> we want our theatre square. Which will give us the boost to culture. Also our aqueduct. Yeah, it's going to get cramped in here, isn't it? Our harbour's going to go there. I mean, we're not heading out to water just yet. I'm just thinking we'll get ancient walls just for the protection. As it is our capital. Now, we're going to fortify you in there. Uh, you can head up there and have a look. It looks like we're on a big island, actually, doesn't it? Hmm. It's all papers and forms. The entire civil service. Excellent. We can have an alliance. So what have we got? Plus one amenity for cities with a garrison unit. Establish governors with at least three promotions. Provide one plus amenity and plus one housing. That could be good. Because our, uh, our, our governors that we've got. One, two, three, four. She's got four. So that could be good. Plus one amenity and housing. So how is Amsterdam doing on that front? No amenities and housings will be running out. Maybe. So I think this one we don't really need. Plus one production. Let's go for that one. Plus two gold. Oh, we can't have that as well. Plus two great scientist points. I want to leave that in. And that one. Yeah, let's go for that. Oh, no. Confirm policies. Yeah. What have we got? Um, build six farms. Build two temples. That gives us another envoy. Let's go for that one. Yeah, let's go for that. I mean, we could build a quadrillion and send it out. Oh, itchy nose. By the time we actually did that, might take a while. Let's just go for a bit of an explore with this guy. He gets a reasonable sort of speed going. Uh, doesn't let me go there, but I can go here. I'm not sure I can, you know. Hmm, we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, I see. Okay. Under Whoa, the there white we go. Cliffs, white cliffs crown, pushed to a depth of more than Sabbath peace. Excellent. What bonuses do we get? Two tile natural wonder. Uh, plus three culture and plus two gold. Nice. Okay, very good. We can send an envoy. Um, we're still trying to get Toronto. Let's stick one there. We'll be suzerain again, I believe. Oh, four and four. You cheeky so-and-so. Okay. Up to 17 in our wonder score, which is good. We can get to 25 and get a golden age. That would just be fantastic, wouldn't it? But we'll... We shall see what happens. We've got plenty of moves to go. Plenty of turns to go. Uh, choose production over here. So we've got the ancient walls. Water. Rice and wheat sources. Gain plus one food each. And we've got rice. Um, we've got another rice we'll get over there. So that will be handy to do. As it's only three, yeah, let's get it. As it's only three, uh, you're going to get promoted. Melee and ranged. When defending against right, let's go for that one. You've healed up. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's go for a wander with you. Uh, let's go for a wander with you. 
Oh, look at these white cliffs of Dover. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Who's this guy here? He's looking around. Let's head around the white cliffs of Dover, see what we can see. Yep, you're going to come down here. You're going to go up there. Oh, it's getting getting snowy and cold up there. So that's probably the north... Oh, there you go. Well, that is the north end of the map. <laughs> um, let's go this way. I want to sort of see what's in here first. Right. Um, definitely ancient walls. Get some protection going. Eight turns and two turns. Seven turns and four turns. Yeah, let's leave it as it was. Ooh, where's that? Right next to it. Excellent. We'll grab that. Oh, and another one. Am I blind? I can't see it. Okay, we know about that one. Oh, there it is. It's got the spearman on top of it. Okay. Kree is expanding. They have. Loyalty is going to start being an issue if we're not careful. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. So we're sending loyalty that way quite a lot. They're sending some here. It's rising by 32. Let's have a look at this one. Hague. Rising by 21. Oh, of course, we can't see theirs. Beg your pardon. Yeah, nothing to trade. Goodbye. Right. Let us get a couple more units. Let's use our bonuses with the builders. And then we'll get some more... Ooh, what was that? Extra population, I think. Nice. Uh, let's send you round here. It works. Reports. Okay. Um, yeah, you can go up there. Oh, he's found one over here. Oh, of course, there's one down here as well. We'll grab both of those, if I remember. Remember, remember. Grab both. Okay, let's send you in here. And that was a new barbarian camp. So where is that? Is that up here somewhere? I'm not entirely sure. We shall see. And there we go. There's the coast. Okay, next term. A good navy is not a provocation to war. It is the surest guarantee of peace. Okay. So what have we got this turn that's new? 100% harbour district adjacency bonuses. Great general. No, we're going to stick with what we've got. Thank you. We're going to swing around there. And let's go for feudalism. Let's send another one here. Yes, there we go. I think we're, that means we're now the suzerain. Yes, we are. Vilamina, well done. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a guy. Where's the camp? There's the camp. Let's defend ourselves. Oh, you can actually head across the water, of course. Well, we'll go and see what we can see. Why not? Um, let's bring you round here. Good. Okay, I want a few more units now that we've got that builder. Let's go for... A heavy chariot. It's got catapults as well. I don't think we're taking anybody on at the minute, but I just want to build up our domination score. I mean, where are we doing? Pound maker, 77. Us is 105. I want to be up here. Whoops, what's that? No, I want you to go this way. Uh, builder. Okay, let's have a look. So we can get our polder in here. Oh, city park. Ah. No, our polders will go over there, won't they? Plus one culture, but we're also going to have... <laughs> we're also going to have uh, all of these sort of things over here as well, aren't we? So... Excuse me. Theatre Square and things like that. Oh, there's so much we could put in here, isn't there? How are we doing? Culture, we're doing quite well. Science, we're doing rubbish. Hmm. Okay. Um, no, I want you to grab the rice, because we're getting a bonus on that anyway. Uh, he's gone. Okay, we'll grab you then. Granted a recon unit. Now, let's head down and see if we can get this one. 
Oh, there we go. A scout. Nice. Where shall we send you? Well, we've pretty much looked around sort of this area. Let's send you up over here and see what we shall see in that area. Can we... Well, we can go across the water, so we'll be able to get over there. Let's send you up to the coast and we'll cross over there. Mm. There's the mountains there, so he'd have to come round. We shall see. Uh, unit needs orders. Who's that? Oh, yeah, that's you. Can I not get up there? Obviously can't. So let's go there then. Trading post created in Amsterdam. Excellent. I need to do some internal trade routes. We don't have... Oh, there we go. We have the option now of doing one, don't we? Trader. Yes, we want to send him to the Hague. So we get the extra loyalty. Although, to be honest, our loyalty is pretty much okay. Even though this guy is pushing from over here. So, maybe. What was the other? Your trade routes to your own cities plus one loyalty. Routes to foreign cities, all from foreign cities, plus one culture. Okay, so we could beef up our culture by sending it to one of these. I mean, we'll get lots of money and culture from there. Let's send it here. And it will start, you know, beefing up our relationship with them as well. Doesn't look like there's anything else down there. Yep, yeah, we're going to send you across the water. Uh, we're going to grab that. Machinery. Excellent. Thank you very much. And we'll take a pot shot at you, because why not? Get some experience. I think these two guys are going to clear that out anyway before we get there. Uh, builder, where are you? Uh, oh, yes, on the rice. Yeah, build a farm for us. How many builds have you got left? Three more after that. Good. Yep, there we go. They cleared it out. I thought they would. And we got the heavy chariots. Okay, nice. Right, I think we're going to go for a commercial hub here. We're going to beef up our gold production. There we go. Thank you very much. We'll add that there. And then I will want to try and get a polder over here once I've sort of bought some more of these squares. So we'll probably get to that in a bit. Um, what are you going to be doing over here? An encampment would be good. Um... Should we get another builder over here? I wonder whether to buy some of these squares. Uh, let's have a look. Campus. Lots of places for that. Encampment. Yeah, I think we're going to put that here. That's going to be our, our city for that. Uh, you are going to head up here. See what you can see. Builder. Right, let's just see if we can buy that. And then just see whether that... See, I would have thought that would have took a polder. Because we're adjacent to three flat land tiles. Grassland. 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 It's on the coast. I'm going to move him over there. Because I want to see. Let's see what happens. Uh, heavy chariot. So he's got to move out. Uh, let's just pop him over there. Um, okay, we'll move you down here. We'll move you up onto there. You can start scouting that land. Uh, where are we going? We were sort of heading over there, weren't we? Well, we've. I don't know whether I want to keep going over that way. I think I'd rather bring this guy back, to be honest. So we'll go next turn. Harbour over here. Excellent. So I think that is going to be it for our first turn. So, if you want to see some more, hit the blue B with the tea stain in the corner there to subscribe. Don't forget, I've got two other channels. Uh, Biffa Plays Indie Games and Biffa Plays Minecraft as well. If those are your thing, check out the link in the description below. And be back here tomorrow for the next episode of Wilhelmina Plays Civilization 6 Rise and Fall. Take care. Bye-bye.